Hello, and you... Yeah. Come. <laughs> okay, I have, I've, been, I've been using that intro too much. Hi, right, everyone, and welcome back. Uh, welcome aboard. I'll be your captain, Helen, along with... Okay, we just came back with sandwiches. <laughs> and I'd say welcome back to Tribe's Vengeance, but this is actually the fan patched. Uh, uh, this is actually the fan patched release, which they have, uh, unsurprisingly, named Tribe's Revengeance. Though they haven't actually edited this in, though I don't think they. I, I wouldn't have mind, but it, it would have been a bit of an odd thing to see. Plus, it would have clipped into here. So yeah, this is the. Uh, this is the version that you can get online. Uh, if you look around a bit, uh, you'll probably find it. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, th since this game is stuck between uh, a bunch of IP squabbles, I believe, uh, yeah, you can't actually get it online anymore. I'm pretty sure I said that in the previous stream. So yeah, at the moment it's yeah in a legal limbo, and the only way you can get it is by well having a retail version like I do. Or, by, or, well, finding a, uh, a fan-patched version online. And it seems that the, the camera is being a bit iffy again, which is flashing through all of the emotions on the model for some reason. But yeah, oh, last I time... You, hmm? I was saying, I thought you just like to smile. Uh, yeah, last time we well started with the game, we were introduced to, uh, to uh, Princess Victoria and Princess Julia, her daughter, who we are actually playing now as, uh, somewhere in between their two eras, because we jumped back and forth between them. And this is, well, young Julia. And uh, yeah, last time things kind of went to hell because the palace or wherever the hell we are is being attacked by the phoenix. Who are, I believe, on an infinite loop running past here. <laughs> yep. Oh dear, uh, what the heck? It, it, it just looks so nice. Did I yeah. hear something? Okay, we might not want to stick around too much because these Phoenix are hostile. They are calling Victoria traitor. So, uh, yeah. They probably not to be too kind to her kids. Infiltration is underway. Have you found her yet? Where is Victoria? We'll find her. I promise you, General. We'll find her. Then go to it. This ends today. Yes, sir. Also, I'm pretty sure that's Steve Blum. Or if not a very similar voice actor. This is impossible. Filthy tribals everywhere. What was that? There's something in the vents. Uh, yeah, let's not stick around for too much because they will shoot a kid. Holy! Father! It's you. Then follow me, but don't get in the way. Let's go. Escort us to the roof. Be quick about it. We can't get to you. The palace is on full security lockdown. There's an override in the security bay at the end of this room. Go hit it, and we'll escort you. Must I do everything myself? Come on, girl. Must you be so clumsy? <laughs> we'll lay down covering Hit that switch, Julia. You can do it. Well, that's a sudden swap. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a. Uh... Ow. <laughs> that's uh, Victoria's husband dead. <laughs> <laughs> Very dead. And again, he was clearly a fucking asshole. Uh, where is this Rich? Let's not stay around where we can get shot. <laughs> ah, here it is. Yeah, let's less barking, more running, huh? Yeah, bloody hell! Yeah, I guess it's easy to see now why Julia hates Primal so much. Yeah, a bit of traumatic experience. 
a, a bit. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Julia got the PTSD full meal, uh, full meal set, doubled up, and, and then again. Me, I, I, I'm not an expert on PTSD, so I don't dare to use it in this case. There. Also, I'm, I'm guessing the reason why Julia is so hard to kill at the moment is because, well, they probably put personal shields and belts or something around every one of the royals. <laughs> After, well, the last time one of them got kidnapped. Very likely. Okay, just for safety, I'm going to keep quick saving. But apparently there wasn't a auto-save function in this game after all, because it's missing out of this version as well. As you wish, General Jericho. Our troops are advancing through the sewer system. The Imperial scumbags won't know what hit them. Maybe somebody forgot. We'll continue the assault. Move out! Or this was when it was still being implemented in general. Yeah, maybe they were unable to implement it due to the deadline, though. But we think that would be added early on. I can't believe the Phoenix will dare strike us here. Just stick near the deployed repairs. They'll protect us if we come under fire. Well, so much for the repairs helping them. And... Okay, something is going to have to break open. Because we kind of don't have any weapons or such. And... Something... Oh, I, I know what we need to do now. This bro broke open. And, yeah, like I said, they will shoot a kid. <laughs> and, yeah, these are basically repair packs, but uh, stationary as a deployable. And, let's see, what does this do? Oops. It opens both the doors. Okay, so keep... <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, putting a kid in, <laughs> inside of a fighter trap. Uh, it's uh, it's freaking Anakin all over again. No. are just an absolute bunch of these guys everywhere. I'll say that and immediately two more pop on. A third. Oh, oh I wonder why they're attacking. The only thing I feel like I can't do so far is I... I suspect Yulia is... Uh, is... Uh, oh, bloody, what was the name of the... The guy's name again, the Phoenix guy. Daniel. Daniel, it was that. I knew it was Daniel, but my brain wouldn't say Douglas for some reason. Uh, let me reset this because again, it's, it seems to keep changing position. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. Yeah, you, you were going to say? Oh, yeah. Uh, what to say? Um, I suspect. Douglas might be her dad. Douglas, Daniel. The dad. What the heck? He <laughs> just after you said it. Well, that's a brain derp of me. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I mean Daniel. I suspect Daniel might be her actual father. And your reasoning for that is the hair and the eyes, but it. And also, it feels very... 
the rig would do. I'm not going to say anything, but I will say that Gaius was being an absolute dick to uh, supposedly his daughter. Yeah, this... This also tells I do the always uh, some parents can just be shitty even with their biological daughter and or son and uh, so yeah, and he, he did show himself to be an asshole before. Yeah. Okay, just gonna keep moving around. There we go. That's our way out. Also, one of my other reason figures is like, lost it to be DC, then he, he, the way this say, he said he would buy her food, but some rather weird, like, like a very grumpy way to ask someone out on a date. Okay, yeah, that's one way to say it. Uh, yeah. So where to go? Over there, Julia. There, no word on the what preteen <laughs> on the preteen princess anything of fighter craft. Um, someone's taking the expressway down. The god had a grappler. Go get it. You can use it to reach me, Julia. Ooh, ooh. Ow. Okay, I, I was supposed to I was supposed to land in the water. Uh, so well there goes Julia's ability to use her legs. Oh uh, yeah, this is the grappler, which well, it's a grappling hook. Good job. You've almost made it. Yes, this is an actual weapon that you can use in multiplayer as well. And fantastic, you made it. We need to get out of here now. Oh, I triggered him a bit early. Yeah, you can pull up quite some tricks with that thing. I'm already concerned. Hey you! Phoenix! Great. He's initiated security lockdown on this door. Hey, you're the one with the tech skills. Get this thing open. Yes, sir. There's not much time. Use your grappler. Get out of here. For some reason, his voice sounds familiar as well. Yeah, that... Julia, they're coming. I think it might be one of those uh, veteran voice actors. Yeah, who you just re who you just know from somewhere. Yeah, due to that, in so many things. Oh, oh, that's going to be kind of badly. Especially for days where there were so few voice actors uh, in some areas, like... Early anime almost had the same voice actor in every one. This sure was a good experience for them, but... Some of them did not improve, and sometimes they had to do... The voice actor did not match the character. And as is obvious, if something gets in between you and the cable, it's going to snap. Well, yep. well. <laughs> oh, what are we to do with you? I forgot to save. What do you do with a senile helium? What do you do with a senile helium? What do you do with a senile helium early in the morning? Okay, we're just going to rush Aerial through this bit. I, I, I really should just keep in mind to keep pressing <laughs> quick save wherever I can. But yeah, we can rush through the fighter parts. It's it's just another tutorial. Or, yeah, another disguise tutorial on how to use that thing and such. And the well, the grappler and the deployable movement station. Good. Uh, okay, so I went to look things up a bit on the on the, the creators of this game, and I actually was wrong about the game. 
I thought they ceased existing at some point, but no, they st they're still around. But they're not a developer, or they're a, a media holding company. So basically, yeah, the publishers publish. Is that an upgrade or downgrade? Uh, depends on things. Sweet. The people who actually made the game, the developers, I believe, I have, I have to cut my research short a bit, were Irrational Games. With, I'm not sure what part Sierra played in it. Maybe they could have been publisher, maybe they could have been co-developer. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. This thing has plenty of health for us to just try through. And oh you gotta admit, it is pretty cinematic just flying through this place like it's the freaking Death Stars in inside. Uh, th this game, and that game is very cinematic in a good way. But you're safe now. You need to move. Save? Uh, yeah, uh, what's your save? Don't forget to save. And, well, the, the ragdolls are just utterly hilarious as well, huh? Hey, don't miss the water side. I still took damage, come on. I think you hit the little rock uh, edge by the water. Missy, you hit, but you should have missed. Probably, again, yeah. Okay. Now the Basically, hard part. Nice yeah, okay. Basically, nice first time, he was just clumsy. The second time, I was just got a pure bad luck. Yeah, you can... Ow. You can steer your momentum a bit with the control. That was too high. Come on. Okay. <laughs> The heck was that there? What the heck? A dead breakdance. The breakdance of death. Uh, no one knew what accent that was. Okay, doing this again. But yeah, like I, <laughs> we were going to say just really, the, the ragdolls in this are just utterly hilarious. No damage! Four times a charm! Nice job, okay, we really Just need to keep in mind what might be Good between job. us and You've the cable and what it. might get between us. Nice job, yeah, you shut up, it. you. Nice job, Julia. Just We're just a red shirt in brown and blue. We'll Come on, this way. Really, nice Alien? Phoenix. Yep. Nice you job, really don't want to go he there? He doesn't even get a name. Okay. Come on. I can steer myself back like this. To, uh, come on, what? Really? Uh, what, what are you getting between this thing now? Yeah, one would expect them to have made a bit sturdier rope for those things. Yeah, I. I one of the things that's causing it to break is intersecting with the wall when we get too close to it. So, yeah, this probably was a bit trickier than they probably intended it to be. Yeah, I feel like they should not... So maybe back then it would probably be tricky to have the rope react differently to the edge of another thing. Like, uh, you see in movies, it does it instantly cut, it just it bends and all that. Yeah, you know, rope fixes. <laughs> this time we just pull it off in one go. Okay, in we go. Uh, yeah, one little thing with the fan patch version is that they made the... They zoomed out the camera or something. It, it makes the, the weapon models look a lot smaller. It has less of them in view. Oh, hello. Quick, get to the turret, well, love we have to hold them. Yeah, Julia's a, a pint-sized little psychopath, isn't she? Well, she was playing with action figures, but... Yeah... 
Uh, has he been given some combat training? I'm pretty sure none at all. In fact, like maybe some absolute, absolute basic stuff. But more meant to, yeah, familiarize with future, for future lessons, I'm presuming. Or, or Julia is just a, a psycho killer by birth. Oh dear. Quick save. Still pretty nice texturing all over. Oh yeah. And it's not. Grab my jetpack with your grappler. There's a crack in the ceiling. Use it to get to the roof and out of here. But that was to say, probably an imperial. But for being Imperial Palace and such, it's not too flashy. Like, it has gold still, but not too much. Just right amount. And um, yeah, of course, Julia is going to be the fastest thing ever with a jetpack that's bigger than her. Princess Julia, watch out for those little things on the ground. And then. Oops. What, what is firing explosives at us? Or is that a gunship? Whatever, we're moving on. Uh, I'm pretty sure Julia would have enough metal in her to make an entire cyborg. Next turn. And the grappler. Okay, now we'll be now, now she cried. I'm so sorry, sweetie. I'm sorry I left you alone. I've been such a I haven't really I've made a lot of mistakes, honey. We need to go! You dropped this, mommy. That's okay, honey. I don't need it anymore. <laughs> Mama? Albrecht, I need a secure channel to the governor of the Styx prison. It's a surprise party for an old friend. And that is why she is after Jericho. And back to 20 years earlier. Phoenix Reservation. live in this place? We tribals aren't exactly given our pick of planets. <gasps> Please, Daniel. There are perfectly good reservations set aside for the tribes. I've seen scans, and they look perfectly acceptable. That's... That's impossible. My father... He said that... Uh-huh. Hey, Jericho, what's up? Tripwire alarm at the north boundary. I'll meet you there, brother. You... you just stay put. <laughs> You're suddenly concerned for my safety? You're too valuable to risk, princess. Janky there for a moment. Yeah, I'm still impressed uh, by this, this game. Eh? What the... Yeah, there's trouble. But all of them look the same. Careless me. Listen carefully, Blue. 
wise. Daniel took plenty from the Imperials. I want it. Give me the goods. I let them live. Otherwise... <laughs> okay, that... I almost... For, mm, no, uh, well, Jericho, for a faction Hester, named this after is Daniel. I've reached the methods. outskirts of a Cipiter base. Their defenses are on high alert. This won't be easy. Is that shame, man? Crazy, Daniel. If we attack, you know what Seti will do to the hostages. He's going to try to kill them no matter what we do. We have to do something. It's my call, and I take responsibility for it. Daniel, Intel puts the prisoners inside the Red Eagle Fortress, but they're not just going to let you in. There are four sensor outposts situated around the base. If you capture them, Seti will send a force out to scout. That will give you a chance to slip inside through the back door. Understood. What about Victoria? We're not sure. After debriefing us on the attack, she went AWOL. I'll deal with her later. Assuming I get through this, of course. Okay, I'm guessing Ooh. what... What happened between the cutscenes there is that uh, Seti sent Victoria out as a messenger. Uh, since, well, she, yeah, she actually got to the rest of the Phoenix and talked with them, I presume. But I, I, I have to say, that scene with him standing over, actually got word it was to get, you know, really dark and not suitable for Twitch. Yeah. Oh. Well, I think that might be like... I was gonna say, I think that might be an accidental side of the developers and matter they made accidentally made it darker than what it was meant to be. Probably. It's pretty dark though. And now I'm not gonna say the word due to I don't know how Twitch would react to that word. Yeah. Uh, also, these little markers on our hut that was added in the with the fan patch. Okay. I'm calling it the fan patch first. I'm not sure. There, there was a 1.01 update uh, for this game, but I'm not sure if uh, that was released by the, the fan, uh, by the developers themselves. And yeah, we have a missile launcher now. That's it. Wait, the developers themselves helped make the fan patch. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I heard Daniel, that happen before. Daniel? I'm sure which game the other developers, other developers uh, helped to patch up our old game. But I heard it has happened. I'm pretty sure at one point this game had saves at every uh, level transition and such. I, I, don't, I don't know what might have happened or might not have happened. It has been oh, a long no. time since this game, and well, we can just skip the cutscenes. Yeah, we do need to remind you often to save. Yeah. And actually, I have a theory. Uh, wait, did he install it with the physical or download? This is the down. This is entirely download. Maybe that's the issue. For sometimes when they try to upload on something, sometimes. Things Understood. may not uh, work as they should be. We're not sure. After us on the attack, went AWOL. I'll deal with her later. Yeah, after briefing, Assuming I get through this, he went course. AWOL. Yeah, so, okay, said he sent Victoria out as a, well, to deliver the message. This is Assault Ship Battle Year 1. I have you on my scope. I suggest you Hello. Take the rocket by the field. Those Assault Ships won't know what hit them. For now, yeah, let's just continue on here and remember to freaking save when we can. And, uh, yeah, Blood Eagle architecture is about what you probably would have expected from them, huh? Those floating out very look dangerous. Good thing you're wearing an energy pack. Since it charges your jets faster than normal, you should have no trouble getting up there. Right, let's see. It's very on the news, evil. Comically so even to the point. Yeah, and 
I think you see why the face animation is good for... Yeah, they probably used the same models for the face icons, but to speak in the corner occasionally. Yeah. Something is buzzing my... That's what's buzzing my desk. Still impressive, especially considering games with our era were more known for occasionally struggle with uh, facial animations or making it only decent to average or just horribly bad. But they would be decent body movement, but here it's very reverse. Very good facial animation, but rocket body movements when it comes to cinematic. Yeah, especially that bit with Julia and Daniel walking. It looked like they both shut their pants. Maybe it's an issue with ragdolling for... Maybe... Yeah, yeah. How old it is is probably from the early days of ragdolling. Which Very could have possible. had side effect of uh, wonky movements for cinematics. I'll have to I'll have to check what other games came out around this time. And uh, uh, yes, I'd forgotten about that. Uh, friendly fire is completely on for everyone. That's a boot with a good thing and a bad thing. Yes, which also means that we can hit ourselves with the ricochet of our bullets. Not just with the explosives. Daniel, come in. Oh. Daniel. Uh Somebody you saved at the start here. <laughs> but yeah, it's easy enough. But only now I notice that he has his freaking name on his armor. I'll deal with her later. Assuming I get through this, of course. Okay, here we go again. But yeah, this thing is basically the ant the personal and the uh, armor uh, weapon. Yeah. <laughs> I do wonder, uh, how much of the game's world do you know? Uh, not much, actually. Nothing beyond what this game shows, and I'm not even sure if it's... if there actually is a canon in the Tribes games. But that, that would be... It, it would be pity if there is not for... There's poten a lot of potential here. And yeah, I, I kind of usually get annoyed. But the game has potential for very good world building and all that, and they just, you know, do nothing, nothing with it. Yeah. Someone's being an idiot by glancing grenades up at the bottom of this platform. We've lost contact with one of our sensor outposts. Requesting reinforcements. It's just one man. Deal with him. If I remember correctly, I think, uh... Half-Life 2 came out around the same time as this, possibly? At least in the same 10 years, span, I believe. Or was yeah, that... do... I think we both know Half-Life 2, uh, like, did not have really... But it was not really known for good face animation. It, it, did, it was a, a big step up in the texture there, though. Oh, yeah. And yeah, could, could you could, yeah, could you do a quick check of when Half-Life 2 released? Uh, just Google. Take the rocket, if you can, please. Don't have to. Yeah, I'd rather not for I'm very focused because on uh, this. Okay, and the, I, I can only see is this game... Uh, how to say... Animation-wise and especially tech the face-wise looks better than Half-Life. But That's yeah, Half-Life... No, Half-Life definitely wins in... Uh, movement animation. It like looking less... Like a puppeteering doll. Thing. Oh, that's the foot soldier I was aiming at. No. Yep. We lost contact with Barrier One. <laughs> and it blows up just as we lose sight of it. <laughs> Sir, we've lost contact with another outpost. We've got 
Quick save. Hello there. But yeah, I, I'm guessing some, at least something else big was released around the same time as this game. Otherwise, we probably would have heard quite a lot more about Tribes Vengeance in the modern day. It might be Half-Life and other games, for Half-Life was, was definitely... Yeah, the big game for the next coming decade or so. Yeah, and people love this for the story and everything. And this game oh, might, might just be unlucky yeah, in that regard. It happens a lot with games just getting, well, good and great games just getting out, accidentally outmasked by the games releasing around the same time. Oh yeah, it is kind of sad. But luckily we have things like YouTube, where people can show such games. So they don't need to completely forgot them. Oh yeah, Twitch as well. Twitch where you can stream them. Oh yeah, you can also stream them with YouTube, but yeah. Twitch and YouTube is definitely a good thing. For such that games. Point, yeah. For many such games have probably gotten renewed popularity thanks uh, to that. Plenty of, of games that uh, you know, there's plenty of channels online that make video essays and such about uh, old games that were good but uh, failed financially. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they also can kill the developers that are still alive. I mean, I mean with that, I mean that the company is still around. Yeah, and they can see that oh, people actually love this. Daniel, come in. And I want a remake. Uh, I certainly so, wouldn't mind what, a remake of this game. So if they were to remake them, I would probably suggest remaking three of them. Uh, three? How do you mean? Uh, it, it is the third in the series. Uh, I believe this is either that or number four. I looked it up online. You have tribes. You have tribes two, and then there's tribes. Aerial Assault. I didn't check what that was. It could have just been uh, an expansion pack, perhaps. So, yeah, this is either Tribe 3 or 4. I think it's 4. Yeah, so you see what I mean. Yeah, the, uh, a Tribe's Remastered Pack. Yeah, it's possible. And at least this one probably would be easy if it just be a, a case of uh, polishing out and all that. Yep. The other two games would probably need quite a bit more work because they're older. Um, yeah, they're, they're even older. don't forget Turok. They, they yeah, recently released Turok to Switch. Okay, that I hadn't heard. The, the old Turok, the regular. Basically just re-released, but uh, with some bug fixes and uh, achievements. Yeah. Just to make it run better. Uh, Night Dive, I believe, is behind that. The same people behind Deep Rock Galactic, if I remember my things correctly in the middle of combat. This might be a bit distracting for my memory, which is already bad. I did not know that! If but someone yeah. doesn't get rid of him now, I'll come out and kill him myself. Right, I will say is that's a Turok is definitely a good example for revivals. So if not people like this game, then the original developers for this and whoever owns the right could consider that alright. We can bug fix it and make it could work with the modern consoles and computers. And it might have a successful revival. Yep, I, I... I, that's, yeah, that would work, but I think the problem with this game is that the... Uh, <laughs> I'm seeing grenades out of my ass. Uh, is that the rights are split or something between two, two, uh, two companies or something. Uh, yeah, then, then both the companies need to come into an agreement to do it. Yeah. Okay, so grab some health packs. Because we really don't want to die again. Nope. 
Okay. Volunteering to give us more health. Uh, there we go. What the? Damn the Those yeah. goals! They look like mammoths, but the... The bodies behind them don't really fit. Uh, not even be to be split apart, but I was moving that the teeth looks a bit wrong. So it might be an elephant-like creature. Space, <laughs> a, a mixture of a space mammoth and a, a mole rat. Those look more human. Okay, let's heal up again. But yeah, mm. pr pr probably. Now did the creature from this uh, planet that probably have some elephant-like qualities. Okay, let's deal with these guys since they've been aggro. And yeah, the active effect of the energy pack is that it basically gives you a turbo boost for a quick hit. So I don't know if it's only upward, if it's only forwards. It certainly looks to be only forwards. Anyone else? Nope. And we can might as well try it now. Yep, it's <laughs> it's plain forwards. <laughs> okay, so sort of like the boost from Giant Sin Kabuto. Now I know why they these buildings have a odd familiar feel to for me. Watch towers from <laughs> Kabuto. No, no. They made me think of uh, Tiberian Sun. Hmm. Yeah, they, they are a bit similar to Nod stuff. Yeah, they actually made a first person shooter speed off of uh, Tiberian Sun. Yeah, Renegade. And it, it, the structure looked like the structure stared a little bit. It wasn't a. I'm pretty sure it wasn't an older, a much older engine than this. Uh, most likely. To my knowledge, there was a another first-person Tiberium game planned, but it was cancelled. I believe it would have just simply been called Tiberium. I suppose this is what passes for Phoenix diplomacy. Shame. Guess we'll have to do this the hard way. Esther, they took the bait. Move quickly to the rear access. Yo, oh, now we have a time limit to get in there. Bye. I kind of wonder how the old tribal thing happened. It says, yeah, people probably think this is unrealistic, but Barricade not really. Let's say. This could happen if the right conditions meet. I think it's more tribal in that they don't want to be a part of the Empire. So basically anyone except the Imperials. So just how big those boosters are. Oh, hello. Victoria, what do you think you're doing? That son of a bitch drew my blood. I'm going to repay the favor. Victoria, this is about more than you being offended. I have people in there, regular tribesmen, who just want to live. I'm here. I'm armed. I want to help set things right. All right. Find the hostages and then report back to me. Do not try to save them yourself. I'll take out the generator. Once that's down, Jericho can bring in backup. Huh. First time I ever gave orders to an Imperial. Don't get too used to it. Yeah, still a bit of jank with the subtitles disappearing too soon, but oh well, it, it's an old game. This it is not how a princess should finish her days. Stay sharp, Victoria. This ain't the midsummer ball at the palace. It, at least the, the speech gets to finish. For before the, just the speech, she got cut off. Quick save. And yeah, one other thing that the game uh, that the the patch did is move the blaster to the to the front like it's a freaking Dune game. Yeah, 
I'm guessing this bit is supposed to teach you a bit more about how to use the blaster as a weapon. Is there anything up here? Nope. <laughs> the one smart guy <laughs> who was hiding out. Okay, that's closed. Level 3. Um, where to go then? Huh? Yeah, now that you said that this place totally looks like a freaking not base. Yeah, I, I've played some of the games and I'd say... I think I'm more interested in the Tabillion Sun's lore than the game itself. But I had a pretty straightforward but interesting world building mysteries. Go in here. Did we pick up a credit? Yeah, not, not a credit card. Hmm. An access card or something? Yeah. If that were it, the case, then this really is doom. Yeah. Love it. But yeah, the only thing sad about Terminator Sun is, like, the, the developers made one game, but due to the deadline, they said, you know what? Let's put the Tabion Sun on it and have it as a. In the final game, and uh, yeah, it was a bad finale. It was yeah, uh, four. <laughs> the one that yeah, we talk about. The, I seen a little bit, and many like sure, Kane finally ascended, whatever that means. But yeah, the rest of the game was too different from other Tiberian Sun that. I just looked and wondered why, and yeah, then I heard that. Uh, that. Yeah, then I heard that it was supposed to be another game, but due to deadline that they just want to see if they could grab some quick money, they told the developers to change the name. Technology. I bet the royal override codes would let me hack into it. Royal overrides, very interesting. So the Phoenix Dog has found an Imperial phone. If I only knew that one last week. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of sad. Do the actor for Kane did a good job as usual. Yeah. Actually, if I remember hmm? correctly, uh, he didn't start as a. I believe he's actually one of the original developers. And they just, uh, yeah, they originally intended to have as a. A placeholder, but then he just did such a good job at it that they kept it. Yeah, here's a fun fact. You wanna know when Kane first appeared? Red alert. Actually, yes. And yes, people, the games are linked. Sort of. If you had a... I forgot it was a Soviet or Allied victory in campaign. Then it would lead to the storyline of Tiberian Sun. Yeah, uh, Soviet. Yeah, that's yeah, where the, the, the game takes over. Yeah, there's YouTube videos about it. What is really complex but interesting timeline lore that the games are related, depending on who won in each game. Yeah. And we forgot to quick save after the start. <laughs> okay, well, at least now we know where to go. Yeah, at, like, I, I don't have another sandwich. For, but I'm still hungry. That's a lot of flying eagles. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you get overwhelmed. I'll take it a bit slower whilst you get your food. Thank you. At least this game plays quick enough that we can just move back in. You don't smell like a phoenix. Ah, ah, and plus, the, the ragdolls are just fun as well. Like, I, I've seen corpses just go absolute, like, 50 card wheels in the air before landing. I also was going to note that there was a voice line in here that wasn't actually a voice, a subtitle. This system is based on so, salvaged Imperial technology. 
I bet the royal override codes would let me hack into it. Yeah, it's the line is different. Very So the Phoenix dog has found an empty phone. Ah, I knew that one last oh. one. The voice acting here is also pretty great. We also set up that earlier. Suddenly, Sadly certainly sounds as sinister as he's supposed to. I could probably take the photos of this bit and just put do music over it and make a certain friend of mine pretty happy, or at least make him laugh. <laughs> But you need that and stuff. Okay, there's a shot of what you're saying multiple times here. To down here, then up there, and back there again. Back and no, I do not need it, and yes, I would love. Uh, not you, actually, a different uh, someone else. Here. All right. And what would you want to want me of them to eat? I don't think I said anything about eating. I heard you say eat this instead. No, that was me throwing a grenade at one of the at one of the beagles. Uh, yeah, no, thank you. It's a bit hard to digest. A bit rough. Yeah, quite a strong aftertaste as well. <laughs> <laughs> they almost fire a grenade into our face. Yeah, and it can give very painful stomach cramps. Basically, it's just a hole in it, even. Oh, that's an awkward position. Oh! oh. Are you sure you're not a bit to say this sometime? Yeah, well, they're already dead, anyways. Oh, dead. There we go. Well, we you, you just gave no reason to haunt you in the afterlife. <laughs> but now I see who you are, Your Highness. I'm warning you. If you touch me, my father will pay a handsome reward for the return of his goods, even if they get damaged in transit. Did I hear something? Actually, just a fucking chain gun them. Probably do us more damage than while well, we don't have to get up close with them. Too much closer. Quick save. Eat this. Now. Watch your fire. Okay, they actually have lines about friendly fire damage <gasps> as well. Nice decor. Did they actually take a bit of time to garden out here? Security. Gotta remember where this place is. I might have to come back. Princess, any luck yet? The prison cells are just below me. See, there's a control room. Cells. That's a quite a bit oversized for just a few cells. <laughs> Come on, people. Tribal. Yeah. How exactly did I end up breaking into a Blood Eagle prison? You learn fast, princess. Imagine what you could have accomplished if you grew up wearing a jetpack instead of a tiara. Um. Is it? Oh, uh, it. I like she has a quite a heavy armor, but I still surprised they're maybe the. Um... You know, very revealing waste. Oh, no. I'm too late. The cells are empty. They must have taken them somewhere. Otherwise, there'd be bodies. Find them quickly. Right. I, I think that adds in on my idea earlier that it's, uh, the armor is mostly there to hold like shield generators or something because if you look at the imperial heavy armor it it's basically a sort of a heavy like lifter we're taken thing, to the main hall which he leaves most of you exposed oh, they're scheduled for execution 
Victoria, I'm trapped by a security lockdown. I need you to find an override. Understood. I'll head back up to the security office and see what I can do. Hurry. In this case, I can I won't be surprised if they try to make it look heavy and strong, but also some sex appeal. <laughs> Good to your point, yeah. Do it, it also looks a bit comical in a different way. I guess you could say that the Imperials have the best shield uh, technology, Imperial which allows them to well, use more, uh, to use less armor. The in universe likely to make them more movable. I'm doing my best. Hold on. But for balancing, they move just as quickly as every other faction in the same level of armor. And that's a possibility. It still looks very. Very top heavy. Got it. Thanks, Princess. Daniel, they've got the prisoners in the main hall. And I think they're going to kill them. I'm going to help them. It's too dangerous. Wait for me there and we'll go together. No time. I'll go myself. Okay, I saved just in case there was a level transition because I don't actually remember where most. Power is down. Where most missions change. Yeah. Oh, back stick. Okay, were they planning? Well, they, were they planning a double ambush or something? Maybe. Because that is one. Uh, that is one tactic. That is uh, a possibility in game in warfare. Luring enemies into a bigger ambush. Help us, please. Oh, there they are. Oh, no, look out. <laughs> and once again. <laughs> All right. Find the hostages and then report back to me. Do not try to save them yourself. I'll take out the generator. Once that's down, Jericho can bring in backup. First time I ever gave orders to an Imperial. And no, the game didn't glitch. We're just taking the other path. Oh dear. This is not how a princess should finish her days. Stay sharp, Victoria. This ain't the Midsummer Ball at the palace. <laughs> Quick save. Uh, yeah, let's hope it There's doesn't become a habit for Julia to, There's for no clear to path get knocked through. out. There we go. Yeah. Okay. I kind of wonder how the tribal's any pure came to be. Let's find another way in. For, again, it's not impossible for tribes, new tribes to form of the something, or a new imperial thing coming up for... Yeah, if you send a little colony ships everywhere... Some are going to it... rebel. Rebel, reform, reborn, uh, yes, reborn. Jericho, ready to make some noise? Ready to do and... a lot of things. Just give the word. Stand by. And if you have the situation, be blind descended. I've reached the main hangar. You can get to engineering through the access ports in the floor. You'll have to wait here for a second to let you finish. Look for a control room in the hangar. Right, I would say if if you have a situation that uh, ships are randomly sent to very different locations to colonize with extremely to almost no good communication network between each other. Then a lot from that can happen alone. Yeah, because they'll have to get self-reliant. Yeah, and it can be too many kind of uh, governance. Depending on if your own if they land it land smoothly, did something happen during it, and all that. Too many factions. Yeah, too many factors, I think you meant. But yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, the same thing. Yes, I made it to my factors. Yeah, too many factors leads to many factions. Yep. That kind of sounds like a good line, but yeah, yeah, basically that. 
Okay, we can just there's the generator. Get the line here. There's no clear path through. And I think that's like I said, said it in the past that there is no perfect government, but there is always some way to make it very good or very bad. Yeah, and different people are going to react differently. Like a pacifist, a pacifistic government is going to be not liked by Jericho, people who are not pacifists. Ready to make some pacifist. noise? Ready to do yeah. a lot of things. Just give the word. And we have had the past uh, the main hangar. good emperors and horrible emperors. Same with kings and queens, uh, good ones and bad ones. And yeah, it's pretty clear that these em the, the current emperor is a bit of an asshole. At least when it comes to the trying. Yeah. It almost feels like I put this a hidden political message. Not too sure, but no, it has uh, been a while since I played this game through. Really. Uh, but the, the reason I, I think that there's. Well, there was a big sign where they said. Uh, res Reservation. Uh, yeah. The only time I've seen that is for Native Americans and tribal people. Yeah. This makes me wonder, is, is this basically like uh, Americans coming to America? Next, okay. Princess, what? any luck yet? The prison cells are just below me. Uh, I, I don't think they were going for a message like that. I, 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 you mean, I mean uh, when the colonists came to uh, America. That's it. You can get into engineering through the hangar floor. Tribal. How exactly did I end up breaking into a blood eagle prison? You learned fast, Princess. Oh no! I'm too late! The cells are empty! They must have taken them somewhere, otherwise there'd be bodies. Find them, quickly! Run. Also, as may have been noticed by me aiming a lot better, yes, I have changed the, the mouse since the Security lockdown complete. We caught the intruder. Damn, I'm getting through this. Esther! Esther, come in! This is just going great. Oh dear. Yeah, I can it. The only thing I, I am worried about is this. I need you to find an override. Understood. I'll head back up to the security office and see what I can do. Right, but I was saying, the only thing concerning me at the moment in the story is uh, all this time skipping between characters. For if I can do it too much, it can get very yawning. Maybe, but oh, I, Julia is uh, Julia is entirely in the present. Victoria will only be playable in the past, so that is, that is one way to keep it at the past. That is one really annoying alarm. Yeah! in a fan for a bit. No, no, did he accidentally kill himself? Uh, not sure. That was a bit too close time. Trying not to it, die, I say as I walk It looked like he accidentally flew into the vent and got shot. Yeah, he was already dead. Here. Generator's out, but it's getting unfriendly down here. I need you, now. 
Understood. Hold on, brother. Nicely played. With power down, we've re-established your signal. And Jericho's launching a full-scale assault. Find those prisoners quickly. Why did she even come out here? Some kind of game to her? Okay, where to now then? Uh, that's blocked. But yeah, something we hadn't talked about. Uh, the, the game did bring it up though, but in multiplayer, if you manage to get into your opponent's base and destroy their generator, it disables anything that has to, well, has to be powered. So that is one way to sabotage your enemy's uh, defenses. Okay. Okay, seriously, where do we need to go? It sounds like they have a very advanced multiplayer game compared to others. Hmm. Can't say fully how it would compare. Okay, seriously, where is the exit? We can't have just completely sealed us up. Oh, this way. Quick save, just in case. Pretty sure you don't actually have uh, an oxygen meter in this game, but there's always the hard way to find out. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Hello. Daniel, come in. Daniel? <laughs> blew ourselves Dunk. up. Or I blew myself up. <laughs> there, Helian. What are we to do mm. with you? Hmm. Down. Yep. <laughs> Need that health. Uh. Let's see. Uh, there was something I was going to talk about, but I'm drawing a bit of a blank at the moment since I'm splitting my attention a lot. Hello. We're under fire. Come on, Jericho. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, now we're in a room. Now the shoe was on the underfoot. Uh, I'm thinking... Of, we talked about this before, about having uh, possibly figurines made uh, out of stuff from the games. And... You know, Fire the hole! Do that for ourselves again. Uh, And I've talked a quick bit with it, uh, uh, with Noon about it, and from the sounds of it, it could be possible. It's just that uh, it'll, of course, take a lot of time. Also, because the person they uh, they get uh, their figurines, well, the, the 3D printing from, they're a bit behind on schedule with stuff. So, of course, we, I don't want to try and force them to be a little more late with that. Yeah, I think they had their own 3D printer, but... Yeah, they don't. They, they talk to me about that they don't use it much because they really don't like the smell or such. Yeah, and also something about uh, it costs money to get the things you need to make the figurines from. Yeah. They, they probably would need a specific room just for it. Hello. Ooh. And now <laughs> Victoria is in there as well. Oh, hello. That's a different pack. That's an... I believe that's a shield pack. Didn't get to read what it says. Okay. So I think that's a, a shield pack. And as is obvious with the grenades now, it took if you long enough. The control room's across the hall. You got it. With grenades and such, if you're too close, they will bounce off you instead of exploding on impact. Tell me, are all the Phoenix as terminally stupid as you? to sacrifice your life for tribal trash? What would Daddy think? This isn't about the Empire. This is about people. Yes, 
You Imperials are such humanitarians. this, Daniel. We are not doing this. She is an Imperial. You saw what she did, and you feel nothing? It is your feelings that are of concern, Daniel. <sighs> Do we even know if the convoy will take this route? It's a simple operation, Jericho. Intelligence has confirmed that the Blood Eagles have loaded a buggy with stolen Imperial medical supplies and are driving it down this road. All this for her. Is it worth it? Being Phoenix doesn't mean being born with brown eyes and no money. We do things not because we have to, but because we choose to. Fine. We'll take up positions in the valley and wait for the buggy there. Jericho... I do this not for her, Daniel. I do it for you. Okay. Interesting vehicle. This is Gossok 1. There's an obstruction in the road. Just get the heavy ass in there. Oh dear. Securing an escape route for you in an old network of underground tunnels. If you can make it to the tunnel entrance, you'll be safe. Looks like you're still in Blood Eagle territory. They're bound to have roadblocks in place and patrols on station. Don't forget about the inventory station on the back of the rover. A repair pack might just keep this old girl in one piece long enough for us to escape. Why do you always insist on driving? Because this is the vehicle tutorial. Yeah, don't forget to save. Uh, oh, you did. Good. Good boy. Let's see. As the driver of the vehicle, you are unprotected and can be damaged. Other occupants are shielded. Yeah, absolutely amazing <laughs> design of whoever made these things, huh? Yeah, th th that feels like a serious design flaw. Yeah, it's, it's more a balancing thing, so these things can actually be taken out. Well, I'm pretty sure there is something called, oh, I don't know, a suit gas, rockets, mines, tanks, hamsters. That was girl. <laughs> Caught you off the board. No, it was more than the fact that this thing managed to pull such a quick 180 whilst driving over this blood eagle. Uh, it must be. I think I actually pissed off a bird accidentally today. No. I'll protect oh. this pilot, Chuck. Don't go too far. We have a bird that we call Strandkroka. It's like it's a sea gold animal with very long orange beak. But it's usually called uh, basically beach crow. And I actually mistook it for a laughing gull. And my mother Craig man, uh, no, that's a beach crow. And shortly after I hear that a bird shouting. Only like if he got insulted for me mistaking what it was. We meet again so soon, Daniel. I trust your female friend was not too badly injured. Send her a card. We'll be taking these goods. Stealing medical supplies. Is this what passes for honor among the Phoenix? Save it. You were gonna move these on the black market. <laughs> Would you deny a simple businessman? Uh, 
not there. Okay, we still have the same weapons, so we'll be in a different configuration this time. So, mine's there. All the best if we get the help of this thing. Oh, yeah, also what? These are rules, and I see them. Cars! What happened to this world? How? Okay, repair this thing. Uh, yeah, could have been anything really. There, that is one thing maybe with this game that there isn't really much lore besides the story itself. Yeah, unless the lore is explained in the other games. Could be. And and, uh, and if this was the third and fourth, they probably didn't need feel like they need to remind of the. Backstory. Okay, okay, what was that? What was physics there? What the heck? Uh. Okay, at least there is some green areas on the planet. Come on. Away from that. Romans left out with the perfect for bloody go ambush. Keep an eye out. Ready, brother? Let's do this. Ow. Uh, yeah, quick retreats. Uh, let the heal, let the repair pack heal us for a bit, and uh, make a quick save. Holy. Okay, that that could have easily sent us back quite a bit. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna later. Uh, I think I'm starting to grow fond of this old girl. Take it, but. Right. <laughs> As I was trying to say, I think I will look up the lore behind this game a bit more. I am very curious of what happened. Or, oh, I, yeah, I threw a grenade in my own face. <laughs> the bloody eagles are quite jerks, and the imperials are definitely not fair to the tribals as well. Yeah. I'll swap that out for the grenade launcher. Probably less chance of blowing myself up. I say that and I immediately drive over a mine. Look here. But yeah, there seems to be a lot of things going on. Like... Yeah, like this is... This was definitely a city in the past. But for uh, how long in past is a good question. This way. You okay, Jericho? Just give me another Blood Eagle target. Now that I can do. You want some more? It, actually, the way the cars look and the street lamps, these rooms might actually be very old. Uh, got a new plan. There has to be another way. Good case for a save. Yeah, uh, but yeah, it, 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 this is probably one of the examples that I meant earlier. A lot of factors can lead to a lot of factions. And something happened on this planet. Come on, Is that the best you can do? Uh, yeah, my, my idea on it is that, uh, yeah, anyone... Nice not... driving. I'd offer you a turn, but I don't think you'd fit. Hey, you want to wear this thing? Nothing chased like a heavy. We've arrived at the tunnel mouth, but it's sealed. We can break through, but it's gonna take some time. Copy that. Moving as fast as I can. This princess of yours better be worth it. You saw her at the Blood Eagle base. She's offered up her own life, Jericho. Make no mistake, brother. I risked my life for you, not her. And when you learn that you're a you'll still be your brother. Where the hell do we need to go now? And stop the thing a sideways wheelie. My guess is that uh, yeah, the, the Imperials are gone. Yeah, the Imperials are basically the the main force in the galaxy, and everyone not with them is considered a tribal. Uh, and those are just split among different tri tribes as well. It's Phoenix, Blood Eagle, and probably more. I think more. I'm starting to grow fond of this old girl. The third time you said that, Jericho, just marry the thing. Hey, these systems are antiques. Wait, we're reading incoming eagle signatures. Antiques. Show those phoenix that they're not welcome here. 
Don't they ever quit? I suspect that tri uh, the Imperius might also be a tribe, just that got, well... Yeah, a bit more uh, recovered back to a Grand Imperium. <laughs> uh. Oh dear. <laughs> I, I, I know I, I could sing something there badly, but I don't want us to get copyrighted. Uh, that was... that... Ow. Okay, that was the game punishing me for how to make it bad joke, but that... <laughs> that could have been thank seen as a game of spin the blood eagle instead of spin the bottle. Yeah, and thank you for the view of the Eurare. Uh. Okay, lesson learned. Stay in this stupid thing. Yeah, I'm kind of curious. Like, this is an ancient place, as they even commented on. So it makes me wonder, what happened to make Man. the rise of the Imperials and tribes? Yeah. Nope, okay. it, 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 it kind of like Mad Max and Fallout, just in space on a massive scale. Yeah. With jetpacks added in. <laughs> okay, third time to charm. Hopefully. Yeah, I, if there is tribes lore that applies to this game, I am unaware of it. There probably is for the first and second game, perhaps. Maybe that's every result, whether that is an expansion time or a full third game. I still don't know. But yeah, we could take a look at that. Uh, that would probably provide a bit more context to some of the background stuff like this. Yeah, and if there is none, well, just them sad and kinda annoying and. Forgot how much fun this could be. Good one! Okay, we've got to last a minute more. But yeah, I, I'm going to stick with uh, the Imperials being basically the Galactic Empire. Remains of one, with everyone else not in their, uh, under their thumb, being the tribes. Yeah, that, that one is... I did not already get that one before. That definitely fits in current situation and time. Though it's sometimes it's kind of interesting to also look back in history and see what happened and led to this. There we go. Quickly jumping out and in to get you. Jump on. This rover's about to fall into a thousand pieces. Let's not use the explosive launcher this close to the rover. Though it could probably take the hit, but I'd rather not blow my own face off. No. Let's get that face healed. Come on, specifically those little bits of rebar. Then again, most of these, everything here is going to be hard. Sorry about that for that one dude that we ran over. Alien. What the? Yeah, so, sorry. How is our I will never sit in your same car as you again. When she returns to the Empire, you'll be hanged for kidnapping her. Maybe she won't return. You're living in a fantasy. You can't afford fantasy, Daniel. And neither can your tribe. Um. <laughs> that hand pose. Okay, he looks adorable like that. Yeah, in a silly way. I'm not supposed to be here. I, I want to be. I want to be home. Daddy? You're safe. Rest now. Daniel, they... they left me at... Don't... don't leave. Please. No, now he's the one asleep. I've got to go. Because I want so much to stay. Goodbye, Daniel. Ah, 
know, that, that little slump there. <laughs> Query to client. Provide objective confirmation. Okay, so now we know their their monetary unit. <laughs> the upper present credit. Digital worm. That reminds me that I, I don't know if that's still around. They are still around here. Yeah. Your main objective is to find and assassinate the Phoenix leader, Daniel. You won't know his position until you have access to the enemy sensor network. Some mischief and mayhem is in order. You'll need to stage several diversions to enable you to get to your real target. And so I've equipped your system with a worm virus. With it, you'll be able to cause enough chaos to force the Phoenix into a state of weakness. Your first order of business is to gain the use of the Phoenix resupply subsystem. Once captured, you'll be able to use enemy resupply stations to maintain your ammo and health reserves. Secondly, you need to gain use of the Phoenix turret defense subsystem. Once you've done that, you'll be able to make use of the enemy turret emplacements. Finally, to discover Daniel's exact location, you'll need to gain use of the enemy's sensor system. Once captured, you will have information on all enemy locations as well as Daniel's, and the enemy will be blind. You have your objectives. I wish you luck, but I don't imagine that sort of thing matters to your kind. What? Yep. <laughs> We're playing as an assassin now. Okay. And for people wondering what I'm about, I'm not talking about this damn thing. Like it. It's only one intruder, and I have a squad watching that outpost closely. I'm not too concerned yet. Yeah, this is the sniper rifle that attacked that other player at the max fall speed. Right. I want to say... A, wor a worm? It's probably the worst thing you can run into on the internet, and it's extremely illegal to make. Yeah. People think that uh, those uh, that digital worms get destroyed, but no, they they get beaten back, but eventually we Where get the hell have you been? We detected an intruder near your post. I don't want that prototype left unguarded. I just yeah, had to go and... to the bathroom. This heavy armor isn't really designed to accommodate that kind of thing. <laughs> but don't worry, I've got the prototype covered now. It's not going anywhere. Please don't kill me! Okay? But yeah, basically, Robert Card Worm does. It will basically explode your computer. Yeah. They run as much mayhem as they can. I think there's even one so horrible that they actually had to contain it and block it off so that no one can accidentally access it. Where is this I, prototype? I, I haven't heard of that very since I... Bloody hell, I have not heard of that very since I was... 13 or something. Okay, this is the... This must be the prototype, the speed pack. And, yeah, as it says, it, it's a speed boost. But I think we'll probably prefer the energy pack since, well, it strengthens our sniper rifle. 
since we deal more damage, the more okay. energy we have. I think he has to draw a pistol at you. Mm, no, it is. Oh, not. Anyways, back out and to the main. Report, area. soldier. Is the prototype pack still secure? Soldier, respond. Respond, damn it! You, you have good eyesight. Yeah, I don't think it really would be too useful since, well, we we'll probably mostly want to be sniping here anyways. Okay, <laughs> that is nice, but also a bit annoying at times with games where they, the shot most of the time actually comes from the actual barrel of the gun. So you can actually just miss like that by shooting something right in front of you. Dear, and I'm back again. Just went to grab some chocolate. Some Marabo. Welcome back. Thank uh, you. Did I actually and yes, I had my headphones on. Hmm? What? I think I actually forgot to set a timer for the stream. But we should have yeah, about half an hour left. Yeah, I was going to say, you have about half an hour left. One and a half hour left. And yeah, as you, you can see, see this shot's drain our energy. Yeah, we will only play for 30 minutes. No, <laughs> because we started an hour early. <laughs> Master, sniper... Imagine if I accidentally tricked you. I wonder, how would you think you'd react if I accidentally tricked you with the yoke? Uh, that probably wouldn't have minus two nights. Well, I just, I just plain like this game. I can't understand that. It is a good game. Okay, we do need to be careful since we are. Yeah, that's not as good for a sniper rifle. We have limited ammo with this thing. Well, to, to of course limit how powerful it is, because yeah, just being able to snipe <laughs> forever with this, that thing would be too powerful. Bridge Defense Squad, I'm issuing a general warning. There's an intruder on the loose. If you make contact with him, take him out. Yeah, too late, Jericho. Squad, do you read me? Damn what about Jericho? Too late. This book yeah. to him? Right, I was gonna say. Is it almost hinted earlier by that the uh, uh, Seti that uh, Jericho might be his brother? Uh, no, the, the, the talk with uh, Daniel and Jericho is well, they're they're battle brothers. No, 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 no. Mm. I'm going to have to finish chewing. Yep. What I meant is that Jericho might be related to City. There was a hint that that Sensors I missed. Sensors show the intruder is approaching yeah. our turret control outpost. We've sighted well, him. He's not coming any closer. But the thing is, City called him brother. The intruder is moving said, away from the turret yeah, subsystem outpost. Well. We'll be ready uh, when he returns. Shut up, NBC. Thank you. I was saying, he called... He said to... The set is said to them. It, no. Set is said to Jericho. Is that how you treat treat your brother, or something like that? This sounded more like a brotherly taunt. To my knowledge, there isn't any link to them. Sensors show the intruders near the resupply control outpost. I want him targeted the second he moves closer. I must have missed that line though, but I'm pretty sure there. I there, see you, you son no, of a bitch! There's no uh, familiar connection. But again, I. That was that was a wasted shot because our energy wasn't high. Go. Is that a zeppelin? No, uh, it's. Uh... Oh. I 
towards uh, hovering station. Oh. Let's duck in here quick so we can hack this thing. Oh, hello. <laughs> Allow me to no scope you. I thought I swapped to something else, but I still got the kill, so <laughs> no matter. Virus insertion successful. Access to enemy resupply stations granted. Jericho, it seems the intruder has inserted a virus that has neutralized our resupply stations. They're fair game whoever wants to use them, including him. This guy is toying with us, Esther. Just make sure you then stop him before he causes any more problems. Yep. Wrong button. Well, not still, Luckily, it's still alive. But let's get out before we are no longer alive. Since, well, tank. But Wait, you what? could just skip across the map. But you're, you are sort of a... Uh, wanted to or uh, supposed to go through with zigzagging from one station to the other like a sniper would do do a sniper would not be doing this yeah. Yeah. yeah gotta see Mercury's Mercury's design is probably one of my favorites in the game. Probably because he stands out so much compared to everything else. So hello, yeah. bye. Yeah, yeah, I got surprised by him. And I I wasn't sure it was an android or human I for a you, bit. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Rude. Waiting in ambush outside for us. <laughs> Pretty smart. Uh, not smart enough to actually get the kill on us just yet. Almost though. I'm putting on a quick, quick save because I forgot to do that. Uh... <laughs> well, we found out. Oh. Not entirely alive, but we got out. But yeah, Cybrid and that last line there. Machine to do a man's job. And... Okay, I might have put that quick save in a very bad spot if he's going to keep killing me like that. Because otherwise we'll have to redo quite a bit. So I'll just need to get the kill off real quick. We'll get out. I can use the pack to get out, or to boost out, hopefully. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> this might be a bit of a problem. Here, here we is this. There we go. Okay, now we quick save again as, as our killer or our would-be killer in this yeah, timeline. Break dances in death. Hello. And... Well, nobody uh -oh. else. I, I was half expecting a lot more to show up. Okay. Grab as many health packs as we can find. Or maybe find a resupply station somewhere. Good. Maybe that the tutorials were them? 
Ja, det tog det selvfølgelig af dem. Det tager os vulnerable to the mortars. Is dead over there? No, no he, he oh. got stuck. Okay, I fail. You? Um. <laughs> uh. Okay, let's move away from the main roads for a bit. Like well, an actual sniper would. Might be missing some voice lines, but oh well. It's more important that we actually survive this mission. <laughs> so a notice for a foot soldier popping up there. Let's see. Is there... hmm. Okay, that still managed to get a hit. That was a miss, though. <laughs> Big miss. There you go. You are the most dangerous with those mortars. The chain gun is good for pretty distant, you know, for medium to short range at combat. The spin fuser, I'd say, would be most useful at medium range since you have the most, <laughs> you have just as good a chance of hurting yourself with the explosions at the short range. And Pilot, the intruder has been detected near the sensor control outpost. Don't worry, if he gets any closer, our fighters will take him out. More knots, seems well. Okay, my controller is dead, so can I get in? There we go. Yeah, much easier than just firing out here <laughs> with your own guns, huh? Uh, True. True. <laughs> no, I, I gotta. We get up? I gotta like that actually made turrets a bit more fun in this one. In a lot of games these days, turrets tend to be pretty slow. It's yeah, so or drag on a bit too much. Yeah. The or turret. rather, uh, go on. Yeah, like the uh, the turret section with uh, Julia earlier. Uh, yeah, it, it, it got on to a, a point that we're starting to get a bit annoying. Luckily, yeah. it did end pretty quickly, but still. Yep, do they... What happened? I heard a mortal coming down, and well, this guy was absolutely failing to spot us. Oh! But a different turret, okay. I thought the, the, the person who spawned first. But yeah, I kind of like it that you just lay turtles around so you can use them for more cinematic cables. But it kind of makes sense. Okay. So how do we get up there? I don't think our. Well, I have to say, Julius turrets to seem. Earlier, but also made sense for she was in a helicopter. Yeah. Oh, sure. yeah, and if she was moving around, so it kind of makes sense to you. She was using it before landing, but all the times, especially the ones that really dragged down to rest was yeah, through the bad dogs, but it felt a little bit out of place or rather awkwardly forced. Kind of like the situation was not used until it doesn't make sense. Okay, where was our last save? For some reason, the 
I'm pretty sure I held, I pressed fire there, but the gun just didn't fire. Oh well, back here, it's not too far back. No. Can we just fly straight to that? From yeah, we can we can probably fly from there to there. Even though the draw is just Pilot, too big the here at the has moment. Been detected near the sensor control outpost. Don't worry. If he gets any closer, our fighters will take him out. And yeah, of course a sniper rifle isn't going to do much against a fighter. <laughs> Unless you can somehow hit the pilot. Yeah. And they are pretty exposed. Well, very exposed. Come on. But that, that's on you. Ish. Oh, oh, you are in your sight. I didn't see the gunner for a moment there. around bombarding us. Can I use the other one I meant to kill the gunner? But again that But burn them with sandwiches. Ow. Oh well. Hmm. We we almost got to the platform. I'm guessing they Maybe they expect us to snipe one of the fighters out of their craft or something to get up there a lot easier. Or maybe there's a jump pad somewhere that I'm missing. It might be a thing. And also start to know something about this sniper rifle. Is it actually an... No, no, it's still a laser gun. I was wondering if it was some Pilot, sort of a rail gun. Been detected near the sensor control outpost. Don't worry. If he gets any closer, our fighters will take him out. Nice little detail here. Look what happens to the gun's barrel when I use my jetpack, when I use my energy bike with the jetpack. It tightens. So yeah, the, the, the gun detail. actually gives you a visual representation of how much damage it's going to deal. Okay. Can I... I think I hit the... Pilot there. And there's the fighter. <laughs> Snapping it from it just outside the render distance. Well, at least you can snipe them after all. How does that make you feel? Yeah, I just need to get a hit on them first. Miss. Is there a way to change the zoom? There probably is. Let's yeah, wait, 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 I just forgot any. Shouldn't you save here? Yep, just give me a toggle between view. That's between first and third. Your radar zoom. Zoom level R. Okay. Quick save. Okay, yeah, that, up to 10 times. I think I got this. So uh, for a moment, I thought it was crashing. But now it. <laughs> oh, that! Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give if I can use this thing at all. Yes, I can. That was a nice shot. Okay, I'm, I'm going to clip that, probably. I thought it exploded. But so do A single medium guard? That's a bit light for your entire sensor network. Virus insertion successful. Enemy sensor information accessed. I have a squad waiting to meet the intruder at the entrance to Engineering Bay 3. If he shows up... Just stay beneath the surface. The intruder won't get past that squad. They're the best of the best. But yeah, with that sensor thing on, 
we can actually see where they are, or we get markers where they are. Same in multiplayer, if that thing is active, it's going to, well, make it a lot easier to spot enemies. And, yeah, let's head towards Dan uh, Daniel, then. Quick save, for safety. Oh dear. It's empty. You'd think they'd have their their you know, leader a bit better defended. Hmm. Yeah, this totally doesn't smell like an ambush, does it, huh? Yeah, smells like an ambush. Yep. That's gonna be effective ambush. <laughs> okay, let's kid? not stand too He's close to the cyborg android. Uh, we'll have to find. Uh, well, you'll have to find out. I know already, but I'm not going to tell, of course. <laughs> oh, really? Yoink. You're gonna go there. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna have my way to distract information from you. In. Much better when we can swap between the zoom levels. And only 16 health left. We almost died again there. Oop, thank you, whoever dropped that. Here. Okay. It's always there's always an debate. There's always a debate going on between if games should have regenerating health or only use health health kits. I'd say go for a balance between uh, regenerate to like a quarter of health or something for a limited amount of times in a certain time limit, so it can't be too abused. What's the sit rep, Jericho? I think he made it in. I've posted more troops waiting at the engineering bay. We'll get him. There's heavy flooding in that bay, General. Seems to have been caused by a virus in our sewage control system. It's hard to see anything in that muck, but if the intruder comes through here, we'll get him. Okay, actually, actual waves in this. I hadn't expected that. Damn it! Can't see a thing in this crap! Oh, cried little, huh? <laughs> He's there! Fire! Uh, alert. There he is! Fire! Did we They're actually blind firing, it seems. They But I can't see you in the water! No, they they can't, but they can see where the shot is coming from. There we go. Update the general. Has the intruder entered the engineering bay? I'm not sure. Report squad, has the intruder been stopped? Nothing but static. Uh, careful! Damn it, he must be on the move oh. again. This is insane. How can one man do so much damage? If you don't stop him soon, I'll be forced to evacuate the base. I always thought you were going to get heavily damaged from that. Save. Uh, one mine. Oh, hello. I could trade you for a boss. One minor thing that you could hold against this game is that the music isn't too varied. It's mostly this beat and it's, it's combat and uh, non-combat version. But for that, it's not it's not offensive or anything. It, it's it's a decent part, I'd say. Not really amazing, but not terrible either. Okay. 
Sniper, I need you and your men to be ready if the intruder enters the cargo bay. Don't worry, I'm keeping a close eye on that bay. There's only one way in. Once my prey enters the trap, it'll close and there'll be no escape. Stay sharp. Well, now we know that there is a trap. Quick save. Hello, boys. Hmm. Not this time. Okay. Maybe not just yet. Hmm. Well, they better show up because we're out of there. Oh. Not much of a trap you can leave a, a turret out for me to use. Like they could have disabled this thing. But they knew that they know that I can use it. But this is just this is just making an ambush for your own ambush. Yeah. You probably want to ambush them before they get to the turret. Like, if they were smart, they probably should sabotage the turret. That would, have been a, that would have been a better idea if there was more room and their entrance wasn't that obvious, Jericho. Let's finish up this mission, and then we'll end the stream at the What's start What's happening, the Jericho? The intruder has moved on from the cargo bay. We've had enough chances to stop him. I'm giving you order. It's time to evacuate. Understood. I'm taking a maintenance elevator and heading to the surface. Might not be the best idea. Oh, with bad idea. Bye. Hey, wrong button. Dangerous you here. are a tribal. I'm an imperial a princess. You came back to tell me this? How? You're a savage. And you're a spoiled brat. You're the enemy. That's what they say. Victoria, it's not safe. No. No, it's not. She accidentally saved him! <laughs> and now we get to play as Jericho. Our informant tells us that Esther is being held in the mine below the prison. That's going to make things much easier. It's unclear why they're holding her there, but there is an opportunity to rescue the Elder we can't pass up. 
First, you need to get into the prison. The entrance is controlled by three outposts. You need to capture each one. I'll mark them on your radar. And say you. Yep. This time a full one. And yeah. <laughs> we got quite a bit done today. And I honestly didn't really think we'd get to uh, stream tonight after at, at all. Uh, due to well dinner being late but yeah then it went quickly so we could stream anyways Yay! all right uh yeah thoughts still awesome i just hope there'd be a bit more about the world for you. i'm so curious yeah, we can look at the tribes one and two if do yeah, for any lore in there. Uh, for now, uh, let's see. Da -da -da. Uh, yeah, Vivendi is still around, but as a, a media company hold, uh, holder, comp whatever the, you know, the term is, as just a, a large corporate uh, entity. As for Irrational Games, likely the actual developers of this game. Uh, perhaps along with Sierra, I still don't fully really know. I, I can probably look it up on the wiki page in a second. Uh, let's see, Irrational Games. Da -da -da -da. Uh, developer founded in 97 by three former employees of Looking Glass Studios. Da -da -da. Take Two Interactive acquired the studio in 2006. Okay. The studio is known for its games System Shock 2, Freedom Force, and SWAT 4, and the Bioshock series. So yeah, I guess that explains a bit or two about the quality of this game, huh? Yeah! And let's see, in 2017, the studio rebranded as Ghost Stories Games. Okay. Okay, that's... Okay. Interesting name to change to. Yeah, let's, let's, let's see. Games developed... That, uh, System Shock 2, Freedom Force, Tribes Vengeance was their third game, apparently. Okay. And let's see. That, uh, science fiction. Uh, developed by Irrational Games, released by Vivendi Universal Games. That, uh, built on an enhanced version of the Unreal Engine 2. Okay. Called enhanced the Vengeance version. Engine. The, the what? Uh, the Vengeance Engine. Okay. Uh, part of the Tribe series, in addition to multiplayer, Vengeance includes a complete single-player campaign. Da, 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 da. I'm not going to read much further. It runs on the Unreal Engine, yeah, Unreal Engine 2, like we said earlier. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go look for someone to raid, and then, well, we'll have to end the stream there, of course. So. All right, I, 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 I get access. You grab the torches. Uh, what? Oops, you said we were to raid. Anyone else? Viking Blonde is uh, on. Uh, they're currently just chatting, it says. They, they typically do just chatting before they move on to a stream, uh, to a game. So, yeah, let's go raid them. And move this to my own so I can actually jump along with it and don't have to jump to the Hmm. So, okay, channel, and then slash raid Viking Blondes. Okay, anyone who wants to go along with that, if there are any, actually people to go along with that, uh, you're welcome to. And other than that, uh, yeah, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later, and thank you as always to here. Oh, you must welcome, my friend. And yeah, next time when we can, uh, yeah, ne next week we'll continue with this game. I'll see. I, I have the weekend off, so we should be able to do a, a Monkey Island stream and Minecraft. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll have to double check. So yeah, next week we continue with Tribes Vengeance or Tribes Revengeance, as the <laughs> the fan site named it. <clears throat> and, oh dear. Yeah. 
until then, uh, have fun with Viking Blonde if you're raiding. Uh, if not, until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks! And start the raid. Mm. Roar!